Anything to report? Nothing concrete, but something is definitely happening here. There are traces of repair materials everywhere. She's right. The signs are everywhere. If only Ariost were here. He could interpret this and give us much more information. The whole tower is shaking! Do you feel that? I believe the tower is levitating. Levitating? Carmaine! Shh. Quiet. I don't want the others to notice. I... I'll be alright. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Part of the darkness still remains. I felt the same swell of evil as I did a year ago. Same swell of evil? Could it possibly be? Yes. It's slightly different this time, but... What's the matter? He just lost his balance temporarily. Ah, I see. Captain, look! Someone's collapsed here! What? Wait, he's alive! Do you think it's possible that Arietta did this? But there aren't any external wounds. Oh. Uh. Hang on, we're here to help you. Oh, hungry. I'm so hungry. That was... delicious. Well, his appetite seems to be healthy enough. I've never seen a man eat so ravenously. Now that you've eaten and had a chance to recover a bit, can you tell us why you're here? Oh, yes. My name is Brett Varner. I was assigned to guard this control tower. Not too long ago, a band of mercenaries came and declared ownership of the tower. To have resisted would have been suicide because their numbers were too great. So, I hid. And you ran out of food? <sighs> yes. You came just in the nick of time. I'm in your debt. So please, allow me to join the fight with you. Okay then, let's see what's going on upstairs. Reaction volume reduction initiated. Stop point at minimum value. That seems to be the maximum setting. I spent more time in this body than planned. It's been more than 200 years now. But of course you were in suspension for half that time.
But it's time for your wake-up call. Arietta! How did you find me again? I don't believe what I'm seeing. It certainly looks like Jeevil, but it can't be. Don't act so surprised. In that black corner of your heart, you knew this day was coming. Jeevil weakened my physical being to a state where it can be controlled by a human. A human can control it? What do you think you're doing, Jeebus? Isn't it obvious? I'm returning to where I belong. And the cycle of pain and calamity brought on humanity will begin again at your hand. You babble without knowledge. This world, this place, it was all mine originally. Your kind stole it from me when you came here. But if that hadn't happened, none of us would have been born. Exactly. You did what you had to do for the survival of your species. And when you came, your strength allowed you to prevail. To the stronger the spoils. It has been that way since the beginning of time. It just sounds like you're a sore loser, Buster. You are weak. You're all weak now, and therein lies my opportunity. The time has come for me to take back what was once taken from me. Sounds simple enough, but all battles are easily won in the minds of the delusional. Knowing what you plan to do, we can't allow you to return to Jeebus' body. Ha! And how do you plan to stop me? Will you destroy this innocent girl's body? <sighs> stop! Stay right there if you value the life of this girl. Once I have re-entered my body, I'll return her to you. Really? Somehow I find your words less than reassuring. Don't worry. I have no lingering affection for a body like this. I will return it to you. Reaction volume lower, do minimum value. It's time. Please, open your eyes. Why won't she wake up? That thing left her. Let me see. Oh no. Okay, lay it on me. Our day is going to get a lot worse, right? She's gone. There's no life force, no spirit left within her. My revival magic has no effect. Arietta's spirit has made the transference with me. No! What's going to happen to her now? Without a spirit, her body will soon die. You went to all the trouble to save her, and she still loses. How terrible. <laughs> no! Ariad is lost. All we hear now is fight for this world she loved. I will join you in the fight against Jeebus. Slay me, and you crush the spirit of your dear Arietta. A disturbing quandary. 